Hello, hello, it's Alexis from Persia Lou, and today I'm going to be talking all about this guy. This is the Silhouette Pick Scan Mat. This video is part of the Silhouette versus Cricut Challenge that I do with my girl Colleen from Lemon Thistle. Colleen's gonna be talking about the Cricut Snap Mat, which is basically the similar version of the pick scan map for Cricut users. So check out her video in the link below, or if you're a Silhouette user, keep watching, or if you're interested in comparing the two features, check out my video and Colleen's to see how they match up. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about how to use the pick scan mat and give you some ideas of how to use it to make your Silhouette crafting even more powerful. The pick scan mat is great to have in your Silhouette crafting toolkit, and I'm gonna tell you why I love it. So let's get crafting. All right, so here is my pick scan mat. You can see in the center here, this is the cut area in this line. And these boxes and lines around the edge are built-in registration marks. And basically, these registration marks allow you to get precise cuts onto any kind of pre-printed, stamped, hand-drawn items, or if you're just trying to work accurately with scrap materials, the pick scan mat is also really great for that. So how this works is you start by placing the material that you want to work with on your mat, and then you just take a picture of the mat. I'm just using my iPhone here. Next, you need to get that image onto your computer. Email is an easy way to do that. Then, in your Silhouette Studio software, click on the PicScan icon in the upper right corner to open the PicScan window. Then, click on Import PicScan Image from File and find the photo that you just sent to your computer. Some cameras may need to be calibrated first, and I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. Click on the Show Calibration Print card, then go to File Print and send it to your printer. The registration test card is basically just a piece of paper covered in dots. You're going to take a picture of that piece of paper. When you take the calibration photo, you need to make sure you have even lighting, that you don't use a zoom, and that you have the printed image on a flat surface. You only want the dots to show in the image, so you don't want the edges of the paper showing in the picture. Then, back in the software, click on this little plus sign and find the image that you just took of the registration card with your camera. When you add that photo, the software will create a new profile for your camera, and then it will be able to accurately analyze and use the photo that you took of your material. Okay, next it's time to tell the software where you want to cut. So anytime you're trying to cut around a shape, like a pre-printed shape, or if you drew something and you wanna cut out around it, the trace tool is going to be your best friend. So first you need to click on this little icon here to open the trace panel. I think it kind of looks like a butterfly. And then we'll start off by just using the basic trace tool. So first click on select trace area and then draw a rectangle around the shape that you want to cut out. Then adjust the threshold to fill the object with as much yellow as you can, but you don't want a lot of extra yellow on the outside. So just play around with it until you find the sweet spot. And then for most things like this, you're gonna get best results by clicking Trace Outer Edge. Trace Outer Edge will create a cut line around the outside of this yellow shape, so I don't have you know holes in the middle of her bathing suit or things like that. Okay, so at this point we have a pretty good trace line, but it also traced a little bit of this other girl's skirt here in the corner. So to fix that, you just need to go to Object, Release Compound Path, and that will separate all the different pieces. And then we can delete those little extra corners of her skirt. Now at this point, our girl's hat is also separate because there's kind of a hole in the coloring there. So an easy way to fix that is to use the offset tool. You can open the offset panel by clicking on this little star icon and then click Offset. Then you can adjust the distance of the offset lines. I basically just want to offset it enough so that the pieces are all overlapping, but I still wanna to try to keep the cut lines close to my shape. When I have it in the sweet spot, I'm going to click apply, and then it creates a new cut line that merges all of the shapes together into one shape. 
Then just make sure that you delete the original cut line so that you don't have two cut lines around your little bathing beauty. Another great tracing tool option is the Magnet Trace Tool. The Magnet Trace Tool is only available in Designer Edition of the software and higher, but I found that it works really well with PicScan. First, click on the Magnet icon in the Trace panel, and then click on Magnet Trace. You can adjust the size of your brush. I found that a smaller brush worked better for me. And then simply click and drag along the outside line of your shape and the Magnet Trace tool will kind of magically grab onto those lines and create your cut lines. It works really well, but if you find that you have any little crazy squiggly bits, you can edit those points easily by either hitting A on your keyboard or clicking on the Edit Points tool on the left side of your screen, and then you can move them individually or you can delete extra points that you don't need so you get that perfect cut line. Finally, click on the Send tab, adjust your cut settings for the material you're cutting, load your pick scan mat into your silhouette, and send it to the machine to cut. And then carefully remove your cut pieces from your mat and just be wowed by how great these cut lines are. Aren't they amazing? The pick scan mat is also a really great tool for stampers. You can use all your favorite stamps and cut around them easily without having to use your scissors for small fiddly cuts. It's also really great for cutting details into envelopes, tags, or sketching as well. If you don't love your handwriting but you love the look of hand lettered tags and envelopes, the PicScan mat and your sketch pens will be your best friend. The PicScan mat is also great for getting accurate cuts on small scrap pieces, and if you use it with patterned vinyl, you can get instant, awesome vinyl stickers super easily. I hope this video has been really helpful in showing you how to use PicScan and give you some ideas for how to use it. Until next time, happy making! Bye!